Hi, I'm Marcus Tuyasa Sopo, quarterback coach at the University of Washington. Today, I'm going to take you through some everyday drills that our quarterbacks go through so they can play at a high level. My philosophy is to use drills that correlate directly to the football field. And my quarterbacks start out every day with what I call the drop progression. And it's really a warm up with football quarterback specific ideas. So we start with just a basic drop and I have them build up to speed. We're trying to warm their bodies up with football specific moves. As you can see they're dropping on a line. It helps them create muscle memory and dropping straight back. We don't want them dropping off at an angle. Always focus as well with ball placement right around the chest area. Relaxed. The next progression in this drill is called the reach step. All right, as you see, the quarterback is doing the first step in a drop, which is reach back, get away from center, or if you're in the gun, continue to get depth that first step. The front leg is just a post leg. That shouldn't move, in, that should not move. And it's reach, 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 warming up the legs, the hip flexors, all the while staying straight on the line. And then I move into drop specific. All right, and we use a couple drops. This is a gun one. We slow it down. All right, I want to teach the basic. Gun one, pivot off the ball of your left foot when you go to the right. One step, a natural step. Transfer the weight to the ball of your right foot, and then you push that into the ground and you throw, as you can see our quarterback doing here. And they don't need to throw, they're just getting the feel for their feet. The last drill is fast feet. Now I want them to drop as fast as they can under control. The word picture I tell them through this drill is cut the grass with your feet. I don't want their feet coming off the ground like a marching band step. The next drill in the progression is gun three plant. What I'm looking for here is the fastest three steps that they can take, creating muscle memory so that they can take this out onto the field and complete the balls downfield on time, accurately. One rep to the right, then one rep to the left. As you can see, our quarterback starts with his head downfield for once count, and on two and three, he gets it over to his receiver. Next is our gun three hitch. So what I'm looking for here is now we're going to stretch our drop a little bit. Usually when we use hitch timing, those are for zone type routes. We want to allow them to develop. But as a quarterback, we still want to stay in rhythm. Also, I'm looking for their head for the first step now is to keep the free safety in the middle of the field. So their head, you should see their eyes look downfield and their head, the strap of their helmet downfield. Okay, and that's what I'm coaching through. If they don't do it, then they got to do it again. And you can see his eyes down the middle, and then he brings them over to the left. And I'd use a wave drill. Yeah, this is pocket movement drill. All right, the first time I do this, it's for conditioning purposes. It's for muscle memory to get their feet moving, get their legs moving. And all you do is have them drop. Five-step drop, seven-step drop, I don't care, whatever you choose. And then you give them directions, backwards, forwards left, right, diagonal up to the right, diagonal up to the left with your hands. What you're looking for is quick reaction. Quarterbacks going through the drill, you still want to keep that ball in a nice relaxed position up by the chest area as they're moving. The next step is the Tom Brady. We call it Tom Brady because we believe he's one of the best pocket passers in the NFL. This is the same drill as a wave drill, but instead of moving your feet fast and, and moving as, as long as I uh, don't give you a direction, uh, this is one step. So this is more realistic to what happens in a football game. So they're only moving over one step, moving over the other way to one step, moving back one step, or moving up one step. 
as you see in this drill. Back, see he's moving up, moving back, he's lateral sidestep, internal pressure. This is more what you see. Another drill I like to do is called the gauntlet. It's so important for quarterbacks to have ball security in the pocket. All right, there's guys reaching uh, for the ball, defense ends that are speed rushers come around the edge and they swipe at the ball. This drill will teach the quarterbacks to have great ball security, two hand pressure on the ball. As you can see, you just line them up and you, you make them go through. And you want them to kind of, they can swing the ball naturally. All right, you don't want to get tight and tense like this quarterback's doing here. You want to be natural and rip through, rip through, rip through. The last drill that I do right after is called step up with the gauntlet. Quarterback does a drop, there's a rush, and you two co coaches can reach in and try to rip the ball. All right, the point of emphasis is stepping up out of trouble and then having two hands on the ball securely, rip through, and keep your eyes downfield. And there's various ways you can have a high rusher and a low rusher. Uh, whatever you choose but the point is step up with two hands in the pocket you don't want to see a ball in one hand you want to see it close to your body with two hands on it i hope these drills can help you become a better quarterback or if you're a coach help your quarterbacks take that next step thank you very much for your time